Dr. Nandipa Magudumana has filed an urgent application for the Free State High Court to declare her arrest in Tanzania and deportation to South Africa. In Ganegwan Strait. What in the weird Gwenzegan Tony 10 past 4 scenario is going on here? You see, the problem is that Dr. Nandipa made us focus on the lipstick and she caught us off guard. We should have paid attention when she withdrew her bail application that she was up to no good. Let's look at how she was arrested. She was arrested in Tanzania for illegal immigration. And it turned out that there was a warrant of arrest based on Section 43 of the Criminal Procedure Act in South Africa. Now, the first point of departure is that she was illegal in uh, an illegal immigration in, in Tanzania. And if you look at the Immigration Act of 95, the Tanzanian Immigration Act, it says in Section 14, Subsection 2, I believe it's A to C, that if you are illegal in the country or you are a prohib prohibited Im immigrant, the, the minister can, uh, can, can deport you. So the question is, was she arrested unlawfully by Tanzania? Was she an illegal immigrant in Tanzania? And if the answer is no, then she was arrested lawfully in Tanzania. And then it turned out that there was an immigration, I mean, sorry, there was a, a, a warrant of arrest in South Africa. And that's how she was brought to South Africa so that she can face the alleged crimes that she committed amongst them, uh, aiding uh, Mr. Piesta to escape from prison. I, I don't think it will succeed if they can prove that when the Tanzanian officials arrested her as an illegal immigrant, if it can't prove that that was an unlawful arrest, it can't be successful because the, the arrest as far as she is concerned when she was in Tanzania, she was illegal in the country and she was using a, a, an invalid passport. This makes it even worse. So I don't think it will succeed based on that. And the other thing that I'm not seeing, although I did not read the papers, I wish I could have read them, but I'm not seeing them challenging the warrant of arrest itself. Because the warrant of arrest is based on three things. Three things. If you read the, the Criminal Procedure Act, one, it must set out an offence. Two, the magistrate that is making that warrant of arrest must, although that is issuing the warrant of arrest, must have the jurisdiction of, for, for 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 that case. And thirdly, it must be that the person that for whom the warrant is sought after is the suspect in that case. And in this case. Besides uh, assisting Mr. Biesler to escape, there are other cases. There's fraud. There's also other cases of bribe and so forth. So the warrant of arrest was issued correctly. So if she challenges that, then she must have a strong case why she's saying it, because the charges still stand as far as uh, the state is concerned. I, I, don't, I, I think if, if she succeeds, that is if, a huge if, then obviously she will, she will, she will, she will she will not continue the case, but there is a possibility that if she says that the arrest was unlawful, what if then the state decides to issue another warrant? Of it? Then it could be mm. a, a process being started all over again. So I don't, but I, don't, I honestly don't think she will succeed. But although I'm a, may I add something different to uh, a bit different is that if you check, they also say they want her. Um, she she wants the states to provide an extradition agreement between. Tanzania and South Africa. Now, South Africa has 15 extradition agreements and Tanzania is not one of them. So like you just say, the deposition route was the only route that could be chosen. But I don't see this having a huge impact on the case should she not succeed in court. And should she succeed, I'm sure the states will also ensure that they arrest her again as long as the charges stand. That is the important issue because she can only challenge the charges in trial, and she can't challenge him the way she, she should want to challenge him in, in high courts or through an agent application. So I think as it stands right now, I don't see it having a huge impact. I think this defense has been created. <laughs> wow. Okay. I, I, I say wow. Wow. Just wow. One thing's for sure, the defense is absolutely being creative. This case is going to take a very long time. This is why she pulled out of her bail application so that they could pull this card. And I want to believe it has to do as well with that they have to prove that 
uh, Tabo Besta is Tabo Besta. And therefore, if she was arrested in Tanzania, who was she arrested with? And if she helped someone escape prison? This is definitely a developing story. So Nzansi, comment down below. Let us know, will she walk and have all charges dropped? Thanks for watching. A man believed to be Tabo Bester speaks virtually at a fancy event in Johannesburg in 2018, claiming to be in New York. But he was in prison. He was promoted as Tom Motsepe, one of the aliases police attribute to him.